got ourselves a nice straight stick makes it easy to work with uh, I want to cut it back I don't know it's about eight inches no, about six and a half of course I'm just using a razor blade razor knife please be careful if you're using <laughs> any bladed tool don't want anybody cutting their fingers off I on the other hand have used uh, <laughs> knives most of my life so I'm just real careful I'm not gonna say I'm used to it but I will say I am real careful alright so that is gonna be our clothespin right there okay it's a little bit larger than a traditional clothespin it's not perfectly straight now the key is taking your razor and splitting down the center without cutting yourself a one but you're only going to go probably about right there is where we're going to split down at so I usually start mine just like this right here try to find the center slowly and carefully work your way into the wood all right kind of like that right there then I'll place it down on a hard surface and slowly press down on it. Just like this right here. Taking my time, being very careful. Alright, now you see how it's starting to split? Slowly work that razor blade down sometime you have to reset the blade itself slide it back down in there a little bit all right now you notice how it's starting to split a little bit more over here on this side that's what we're going to go and stop all right i want it to go down just a little bit more but we're going to stop right here go ahead and remove the blade and now we're going to tie it up so that the pin doesn't keep splitting the wood now you might recognize the uh, 10 pound fishing line that i usually carry in my bug out bag that's what we're using um i just pulled off a little over arm's length of line you can use twine you can use wire I don't like using wire because it's the rust alright now you want to start this line in your crack of the clothespin and you want to have extra coming off the back side just like that there alright that's one all the way through now pull your line up until it snitches up real tight grab your main part of your line leave your dead man off there pull up and start tying back with your fishing line all right you're gonna work your way all the way back up to where the cut is all right now I'll get right there at the cut and I'll start getting closer twines wraps on the pin itself work my way back then back forward again and just keep on doing that till I start running out of line oh, that right there now we'll take our line Let me go around one more time here get on the back side I'm gonna leave a little slack in it I'm going to feed it back through our pin all right pull it down sorry about the uh, background noise guys I can't help that sound like someone just broke quarantine this 
down. Trim off our excess. Alright, so that's our pin. Okay. Now what I used to do is I just trim off the extra bark. Careful not to hit the fishing line or twine or whatever it is that you use to tie it down with. And the reason I take the bark off is that way when I put it on the line that exposed wood will actually dry out in place and makes it easier to put it on the line. Just got some bad wind that's coming in later today and uh, we got a storm coming so we had to get our towels pinned down and I had too much time on my hand. These actually work very well guys. Um, I used to just take the stick, split it and use it and they last for a while so they finish splitting out. Wrapping the ends actually keep them from uh, splitting on you. So that is that.